Venetian White Bridge, and the views are amazing, not gonna lie to you. So today, as you can see, we're out here. If you guys been keeping up with the channel, you know that I've been here before when I did my, um, I forgot what video it was, but I've been here before. Like literally, there's a city right in front of me right now. Like this is, cra hey, look at this. This is crazy. Like what? Beautiful. I want to get a bit into a deeper topic. You know, recently the channel has been very, you know, relaxed, chill. You know, we did a Timu thing. My journey on YouTube has basically been me showing every part of my life, you know, the ups, the downs, the very downs. But with that comes a lot of experiences that aren't the most happy, I would say. It really took a lot to get to where I am now, to be able to sit here, have a city, literally a city view in front of me. And you know, I can't do it, he's watching me. I can't do it, I can't do it. I'm sorry, I could not record with the guy in front of me. I just can't do it, it's impossible. I don't know what happened throughout the years, but it seems like more and more people are becoming unhappy. Think back to high school and I don't really remember a lot of people talking about mental health and them being depressed. Of course, you know, there were some people, but nowadays it just seems like every single person that I come in contact with or, you know, I meet on the street, they're depressed or unhappy or going through some type of traumatic experience. I used to be one of those people that, you know, complained and talked about how depressed I was because I didn't have this and that. I remember waking up back in high school, middle school, whatever. I used to be terrified to wake up because I dreaded my everyday. Waking up in the morning and having to experience the same hell at the time that I was going through. You know, I could have been like everybody else. I could have went to college, you know, got a degree, went to school, blah, blah, blah graduated but no I chose not to do that and I can't blame anybody but myself My nigga, what the fuck are these broski what are these bugs on me bro there's a bug that's harassing me bro. I'm about to kill it I'm giving it a chance to like live but bro come on childhood trauma can be a very tricky thing because sometimes it's not even your fault when you're born you're not asked to be born you have no choice into the scenario you're gonna be born in you know you could be born rich poor, white, black, Indian, Hispanic, you know, you don't have a choice into the world you're gonna be brought into. And of course, there's some people that had a great life, an amazing life, and they still fuck up, and you know, that causes their own trauma. But at the end of the day, we well, all have to take accountability, no matter what situation you're brought into. And I've realized that. But yes, I wasn't born into the best financial situation, you know, I didn't grow up with a silver spoon in my mouth, which is fine, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, because we all have a story to tell. You know, I don't think there's anybody that's better than anybody. I don't think just because I have 2,000 subscribers make me better than anybody. Like, we're all, in my opinion, on the same level. So, for you that's watching, the only way to really get past, you know, bad experiences in life is to take accountability for every single thing that happens to you. Regardless if it's your fault or not, it's seriously on you to get a better life. Nobody's gonna come and pick me up and say, Tyler, let's go to Miami and I'm gonna get you a part. No. I had to get up, I had to research where to live, research good or bad neighborhoods, research your jobs to get, make sure I have a good job, save up money, get out here. You know, of course, I've, you know, of course, mistakes happen, things go bad, you know. I'm, I was 20 at the time. I've seen people talk about going to the, wanting to go to the gym and they still haven't gone months later. Like, yo, just get a membership and go to the gym. Or make excuses as to why they can't go yet. Oh, I don't know enough. Or I don't know how to live. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, yo, go, try. And, you know, of course you're gonna make mistakes, but the key is learning from those mistakes and moving forward. So for any of you guys out there, make sure, or girl, I'm sorry, we're all, we're gender inclusive, inclusive here, people. We don't discriminate against nobody. You know, I know, life can be hard and tough. You know, sometimes you wanna cry. Sometimes you wanna scream. It's not fair, I was there. I literally remember crying myself to sleep at night. I was so envious of, other people's lives, not being where I wanted to be. Felt like I deserved it. Why the fuck did I, they get such a good hand in life? Why not me? And then that anger turned into confusion. Oh, am I not good enough? Was I a bad person? Am I a bad person? Am I selfish? Why am I so selfish? Oh my God, I'm gonna go really my deep. Friend. What's up? Stay right there long enough, I'm gonna have something for you. What's up? I appreciate it. Stay here long enough, I'm gonna have some footage for you. All right, bet. Yeah, yeah. I don't wanna get robbed. I'm allergic to seafood. You're not from here, huh? Nah, I'm from Mississippi. I moved out here about two years ago. Where? Mississippi. Now it's getting too dark, people. That man taking up my precious time. So let me go before he come back and trying to wine and dine. Nope, I'm my dash. Let me get the fuck on. Bro, the dude's talking about, yo, you ever heard of, he made, a, bro, I know he made that fish up. That fish don't even sound like it exists. And he kept trying to ask random people, yo, um, you ever heard of, what the fuck you call the fish, bro? Sprout? That sound like, that does not sound like a fish. I know for sure it doesn't. That's what I'm talking about. 
I found a nice secluded spot. I think I'm all good. And this guy comes up randomly talking about, have you ever tried lobster? Bro, does it? I don't know. Maybe. Why do you care? So I'm going to move locations because honestly, I don't want this guy following me. I'm going to catch you guys in a second. But you know what's crazy? Why would I stay in a place where, hey, bro, man, you stay right there, man. What's up? Stay right there long enough, I'm going to have something for you. What's up? I appreciate it. Stay here long enough, I'm going to have some footage for you. Yeah, go ahead, just right there. I got something for you. No, I'm not staying. Why would I stay there? What the hell? Hey, scammers and artists and robbers and gangsters, you hey, gotta step your game up, man. Look, that's that's weak. You, you gotta help your mans out. Hopefully, I can't get uh, fucking harassed over here. My God. So I don't want to keep this video going on for so long. Honestly, the point of the story is, you know, I didn't make it here on accident. You know, I wasn't given, I wasn't given the ability to live here in Miami. And of course, I'm grateful to even be here. Like, I can see my, I, I live right there, bro. Those twin buildings, I live there, which is fucking crazy. Like, wait, I think, no, wait, actually, no, it's not. No, it's not. In this life, the only thing you could do, regardless of where you come from, the only thing you could do is look at yourself in the mirror and realize nobody's coming to save you, you know? It's up to you to really get past anything you're coming from, regardless of how you got there. You know, maybe your friend set you up. I don't fucking know. Maybe your girl lied on you, you know, and it just put you in a bad situation. You know, regardless of what happened, it doesn't really matter. And there's no point in getting mad at the next person because they're better than you or they're where you want to be because that is not going to change your life. I'll tell you that right now. I was there, you know, like I said, I used to cry myself to sleep, angry, waking up mad, furious. Why am I not this? Why am I not that? And like, I wasn't growing at all. Like my channel, nobody, I wasn't really gathering an audience because it was coming from a point of hate. And then once I realized, you know, it was really up to me to change my life and become a better person, a better man. Like my guy, you got all this air, bro. All this air time, leave me alone. It's in my ears. Like, what the fuck? Nobody was coming to save me. You know, that's when it all changed. And I just, I realized this is my own journey. This is my story. I can't compare myself to anybody else's because they had their story. You know, they went through what they had to go through. So now it's my turn. I don't know how long it's gonna take, who knows? But, you know, all they can do is just keep moving forward, keep working and trying to keep self-doubt out. Because yeah, of course, I still self-doubt. Sometimes I wake up like, what if this isn't worth it? What if I'm wasting my time? What if I should've went to college? All of those still run through my head, but you know, I gotta realize I made the choice. I decided to take this path. I have to see a fit, you know, I have to see it all the way through. But I do love you guys. Let me see you in the next one. It is getting a bit dark, too dark for my liking. So I'm about to go, um, but see you guys in the next video. I'm out, peace.